all of those medications are broadly known. They're in a category called phosphodiesterase inhibitors or PDE5s. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we abbreviate it that way is because there is a specific enzyme, phosphodiesterase, that actually breaks down a molecule called cyclic GMP into its you know lower you know constituents and that is in of itself a pro erectile signal that allows for more blood flow to reach the corporate cavernosa it actually improves blood flow in a lot of places mm -hmm. and so that's why men who take things like viagra sildenafil cialis tadalafil might experiencing flushing, right? They can experience muscle pumps. There are guys that will take sildenafil or tadalafil before going to the gym because it improves blood flow to the skeletal smooth muscle, right? But primarily, these are designed to improve blood flow to the penis for uh, you know use in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Right. Although I do try to tell my patients that, you know, your penis needs blood flow outside of the bedroom as well. That's why we like daily Cialis mm -hmm. as our first option. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll escalate from there, add maybe a booster Viagra on top of that. Other options include Vardenafil, Levitra, Avanafil, Stendra. We have other flavors of PDE5s, but I think that the most common ones we use in our practice are going to be Tadalafil, Cialis, and Viagra.